Welcome to box eight of the Strawberry Hill Farm Veggie Box Season. So I'd like to encourage you to stay with us until the end where I'm going to share recipes and pictures that Nolly has ambitiously created and wanted to share for all of your benefit. So with what's coming this week, Walla Walla Sweet Onion. So when we moved to the area, I found a local gardener and sat down and chatted with him for a while. Our eldest, I guess it was 20 years ago now, um, our eldest was just a baby, and talked to him about frost-free dates and varieties and things because I wasn't familiar with the area. And he introduced me to Walla Walla Onion. It has since become one of our favorites. It's early, it's fast, it's large, it's a sweet onion, great for um, onion rings and a variety of other things. This week, most of you will get berries, but there probably won't be enough for everybody. Certainly enough for the Thursday bus because it missed getting them the first week. But if you don't get berries, look for melons and some broccoli and cauliflower to make up the value. We've got zucchini and summer squash. We've got carrots, lots of cucumbers. Tomatoes are coming in well. Small heads of lettuce, but still enough for a great salad. Cherry tomatoes, new potatoes, which are sizing up, doing great. And Swiss chard, probably just for the fulls. And some of the fulls may get a second head of lettuce instead of Swiss chard. So I'd like to take a minute now to update you on the status of broccoli and cauliflower. For those of you who've been with us for a number of years, you would know that broccoli and cauliflower were a staple. Either one or both went in the majority of the boxes that we've sent in the past, and we've done a good job of growing it. But that all changed with the introduction of a pest called the Swede midge. It originally came from Europe in produce imported into Ontario, and then it's gained a foothold and gradually spread east. Where we don't use chemicals, then it's almost impossible to control it. So for the fall crop, we've put up a tunnel and covered it with floating row cover to keep the cover off the plants so the plants do well, but to hopefully keep the insect from finding them. And we really hope that we'll be able to get you good broccoli in the fall. Um, we appreciate your patience as we bear with as we uh, work through this situation. Okay, so now we're going to go on to some pictures of some recipes that Nolly created making meals for us for the coming week and giving you some ideas as to what you can do with our chicken and vegetables.